Welcome back with Environment and Sustainable Development. And in this, we are going to do what is known as problems related to environment. What are the problems? We just talked about functions. And we are going to, now we, in this class, I'm going to talk about what are the problems related to environment. Any guesses? Yes. One is pollution. The first biggest problem of and related to prob, uh, environment is what is known as pollution. And the second one is excessive exploitation of natural resources. So talking about pollution, it is the industrialization in its wake has brought about pollution. Pollution in say air, water and sound. That is noise pollution. So all this is due to the industrialization bid of man. So industrialization in its bid has generated so much of pollution that one can't even imagine. And the second category of problem we'll categorize into two parts. One is pollution. One category of uh, problem related to environment is pollution. And the second one is excessive exploitation of natural resources. And in this, we are going to further divide into categorize into two parts. One is uh, deforestation, that is cut indiscriminate cutting of trees. Again, this is due to basically industrialization and filling up our tummies. And the second is degradation of land in this part. So right now we are going to do pollution. Just want to want you to see this. That now let's talk about uh, problem of pollution, and it all stems from uh, industrialization. So the two basic problems related to environment are the problem of pollution and the problem of excessive exploitation. Uh, of natural resources or we can call it degradation of natural resources so let's just take pollution in this in this class I'm just going to take pollution because other of course it's a very pressing problem of today but then we are we have to keep ourselves limited to the book uh, limited to our syllabus so with that Pollution. What is pollution? It refers to those activities of production and consumption which challenge purity of air, water and that's how they pollute the environment. It is a, a problem related to pros, process of growth, particularly related to industrialization. So talking about industrialization, it is based on that. Okay, so let's take air pollution. So, okay, what kind of pollution is there? there are, it takes three forms, air, water, and noise pollution. Let's take the air pollution. So we know that air carries oxygen, which is an essential element of life. Pollution of air implies pollution of an essential element of life. So if there is pollution then the quality of life is affected so what causes pollution of air it occurs due to the presence of pollutants in the air and these could be poisonous gases such as carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and these remain suspended uh, in particles such as dust pollen and smoke and these are the factors that contribute to air pollution. What is that? Number one, it is a smoke which comes out by uh, due to industrial production. So smoke emitted by industries, particularly those using coal as energy. Then second is poisonous gas. That is particularly when uh, industries which make plastic and leather and in the process of chemical treatment of the material. So a lot of poisonous gases are emitted. And of course, in, a, in industrialization, we have so many motor, motors on the road, motors running on the road. It could be 
cars, scooters, trucks, buses, and all and all of that. So these uh, uh, means of transport emit gases, and this has risen to a threatening level because if we are getting air, human beings are getting populated, the overpopulation, we, there's a demand for motor vehicles. So that is there. And uh, the direct result of air pollution is that it causes hypertension, asthma, respiratory and cardiovascular problems. And these are deadly diseases. And... Uh, and uh, let's come to water pollution. Like air, water is also an essential element of human life and its pollution is equally serious. So when you're talking about pollution of water, it, we talk about contamination of water. So, and contaminated water spreads diseases like diarrhea and hepatitis. So what are the factors contributing to water pollution in India? Again, let's point out to industries, industrial wastes, particularly of those using chemicals as input, which, which are, or dyes, into, which are sent into the rivers. The, the fish have them, the, the weed, those fishes, and the animals, whatever, and then the chain goes on. Then we also have agricultural runoff. That means we are using a lot of pesticides and insecticides in with the new agricultural policy that was introduced and all this the water that from the land it runs off uh, into streams and rivers so that too affects that brings about water pollution then domestic sewerage that flows into streams and rivers so we do have a lot of, in big towns, we do have these treat, treatment plants for sewerage, but mostly we don't. And it, it is sent directly into the streams and they jo go join the rivers. And then you have these, another principal factor that contributes to water pollution in India is the thermal powerhouses discharging ash mixed with water. And, uh, okay, so then we come to noise pollution. Now, what is noise pollution? Again, mechanization has raised the level of levels of efficiency, but it has equally raised the levels of noise pollution. Millions of vehicles are fitted with loud horns and noise generating engines that go around the roads. And excessive no noise causes irritation and it fatigues the mind and the body. And accordingly, quality of life deteriorates and efficiency is reduced. So, so where, where does the pollution come from? Sound pollution. Sound produced by machines and in industries. Sound produced by cars, trucks and other means of transport. Sound produced by machines in construction work, workers. Uh, so what sound it's it's not the sound that is irksome the chirping birds and um, things like that are sweet to the ears but unwarranted and unwanted sounds like for example say loud music then um, anything which is uh, honking and uh, all this which is like which affects your being it should it's like a social evil and it has been uh, uh, the world health organization says that the safe level of sound should be 55 decibels during daytime and 45 decibels during nighttime and there are places where uh, no machine is allowed to operate at night or at least the, the industrial areas are far away from dwellings where the human beings stay or their colonies are there. So, uh, so we have to look at this and uh, 
basically if it is very important to take care of this aspect of the problem which is connected to pollution so you can get a question as separate questions as air pollution what does it cause what happens with water pollution or you can get a direct question as explain pollution and what are the types of pollution and how do they affect